Time to start segment number nine of Dylan's special. We're going to play some Jeopardy. 2003 edition. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just get up to the options. We'll let you fine tune the game just the way you want to. Normal game? Okay, so how many people? Player one? Is Dylan on this file? Yep, there he is. Player one, here's your buzz in key. JD874. It's showtime. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this. All right, let's get things underway, player one. All right, we're going to start with Geography B for... 200. This country is so huge that it occupies nearly half of South America's land area. Player one. What is Brazil? Exactly. Get out the eggs. B for 400. Home to a civil rights museum, it's the most populous city in Alabama. Player one. What is Birmingham? Hey, you're correct. B for 600. Answer, the Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? 1,000. Poland and Lithuania are among the countries that border this sea. Player one. What is the Baltic? Exactly. B for 800. The Irrawaddy River flows about 1,300 miles before emptying into this bay. Player one. What is the Bay of Bengal? Definitely. B Geography B for a thousand. In 1994, Jimmy Carter helped broker a ceasefire by this country's Muslims and Serbs. Player two? What is Croatia? No! Oh, B in the correct answer. It's a B, Anybody? not a C. Dumbass. What we were looking for was this. Bosnia and Herzegovina. It said B, and you said a country that starts with C. To ruin carefully for laid plans for is to upset this. Anybody? Player three. What is the apple tree? Good guess, but it's not what we're looking for. Is that it? Anyone? What we were looking for part. was this. Apples for 400. In song, Ida was as sweet as this. Player one. What is apple pie? Oh, regrettably, no. Anybody? Take a look. Here's the right Cider. Response. Apples for 600. A Kellogg cinnamon toasty apple cereal. Player one. What is apple jacks? Hey, you're correct. Apple 800. If everything is just so or perfect, it's in this kind of order. Player two? What is apple pie? Oh. Exactly. Now so let's in the try time for apple, apple pie. For 200. In 1998, she turned 40 and played a 40-year-old and how Stella got her groove back. Anyone? Take a look. Here's Angela the right Bassett. response. Let's try music for 200. Four-letter term for the type of operatic solo heard here. Okay, here is the clue. Uh, alto? Good guess. Right. That's not what we're looking for. Anyone? I think I should have said R. What we were looking for was this. How about sticks and stones for 200? It's where an industrious person keeps his nose. Player three. What is to the grindstone? Definitely. Sticks and stones for 400. The man seen here was a master of this form of physical comedy. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player 
Player one. What a slapstick. Precisely. Pick again. Sticks and stones for 600. These springy stilts with pedals will have you moving in leaps and bounds. Player two. What are pogo sticks? Yeah. Hey, I knew you're that correct. too. Sticks and stones for 800. Paired with fire, it rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah. Player one. Uh, what is brimstone? Precisely. Pick again. Sticks and stones for a thousand. Three feet nine inches high, two feet four and a half inches across, and nearly one foot thick, it was key to deciphering hieroglyphics. Nobody? What we were looking for, for was stone. this. Music for 400. This cellist is the son of a composer from Shanghai and a mezzo-soprano from Hong Kong. Anyone at all? Player one. Who is Yo-Yo Ma? Precisely. Pick again. Music for 600. An 1829 visit to Holyrood Palace in this capital city inspired Mendelssohn's Scottish Symphony. Player three. What is Edinburgh? Hey, you're correct. I'll take, well, duh, for 200. Samuel Goldwyn supposedly said, anyone who goes to one of these doctors should have his head examined. Player one. What is a psychiatrist? Precisely. Pick again. Duh for 400. It's the name of the Pope just before the one seen here. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. Who is Pope John Paul the First? No, sorry. Oh. Player three. Who was John Paul the First? Oh, come on! That's it. You do know your history. You can't accept Pope John well Paul the First. Well done. For but 600? John Paul the First. Joan Embry reports that all birds have Sorry, wings, but that was a not characteristic right. shared by no other type of animal. Bullshit. Anyone? I'm sorry. That's bullshit. Here's what we were looking when for. When except my answer, but you'll accept take hers. Music for 800. This American pianist was in his 20s when he won the Tchaikovsky competition in Moscow in 1958. Player three. Who is Van Cliburn? Yes. Music for a thousand. He's the composer who wrote the famous Hungarian Rhapsody number no. 15, the Rakosi March. Anyone at all? This is the correct question. I'll take, well, duh, for 800. Ball player Alex Johnson said this when asked, two homers last year, seven this year. What's the difference? Player one. What is five? Definitely. Well, duh, for a thousand. It's the largest university in Hawaii. Player one. What is the University of Hawaii? Precisely. Pick again. Apples for a thousand? This PBS science series has told viewers the gravity of the situation. Player two? What is Newton's apple? Definitely. Let's go for acting for 400. This star of A Time to Kill was voted the handsomest guy at Longview High. You might want to contact him. Player two? Who is Matthew McConaughey? Precisely. Pick again. Acting for 600. Don't Tell Mom This X-Files star was in Don't Tell Mom The Babysitter's Dead. Player one. Who is David Duchovny? Definitely. Acting for 800. This actor directed himself and wife Trish Vandeveer in the 1974 film, The Savage is Loose. Anybody? What we were looking for was this. George C. Scott. Here's the final answer on this board. 
1998, this film director made his Broadway acting debut in Wait Until Dark. And that's no Pulp Fiction. Player one. Who is Tarantino? Exactly. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. You're in first place all alone, player one. Player two, you're in last place, but you <laughs> have to start things off first in double jeopardy. You're still in the thick There's of it, player three. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for double business terms. For 400. Sensible consumers clip these to get sense off. Player one. What are coupons? Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Is this... It's the boating term hey, used when the government Sorry. comes to the aid of a sinking business, like Chrysler in 1979. Nobody? This is the correct question. This is for 1200 A firm that buys and sells other firms, or part of the name of Janis Joplin's 60s band. Player one. What is a holding company? Yes. This is terms for 1600 Term for the amount a retailer adds to the cost price of a product. It may not be all profit. Anybody? This is what we wanted. This is terms for 2000 A factory's manual labor is blue collar, and these are steel collar. Anybody? What we were looking Robot. for was this. All right, let's do uh, see in history for 400. Plutarch wrote of this queen depicted here. Plato admits four sorts of flattery, but she had a thousand. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player three. Oh. Who is Cleopatra? Exactly. Damn you, player three. See in history for 800. An alphabetical so list of this Russian empress's lovers might end with Zubov, but we can't be sure. Player one. What is, who is Catherine the Great? Hey, you're correct. See in history for 1200. A civil war, known as the War of a Thousand Days, broke out in this South American country in 1899. Player three. What is Columbia? Precisely. Pick again. C in history for 1600. Charles Martel, grandfather of this great king, hammered Burgundy in 733. Anyone? What we were looking for was this. C in history. For 2,000? Bassianus was the original name of this Roman emperor known for his baths. Is that it? Anyone? Here's what we were looking for. I'd like foreign inventions for 400. You can check the papers. Paper goes back to this country around 105 A.D. Nobody? Take a look. Here's the right response. I'll take magazines for 400. This newspaper Sunday magazine has featured what they were thinking, the way we live now, and a tough crossword puzzle. Player three. What is the New York Times? Exactly. Magazines for 800. She was on the cover of the premiere issue of O Magazine. Player one. Who is Oprah Winfrey? Definitely. Magazines for 1,200. John Rocker got in trouble for remarks quoted in the December 27, 1999 issue of this magazine. Anybody? Here's what we were looking for. American food for 400. The meat cooked in these pits is generally beef in Texas, but pork in North Carolina. Player one. 
What are our barbecue pits? Yes. Magazines for 1600. In Ebony's first 50 years, 1945 to 1995, this pop superstar graced the cover a record 17 times. Anyone? Here's what we were looking oh, for. Oh, should have guessed Michael Jackson. I thought it was somebody else. American food, 800. One of Elvis Presley's favorite dishes was a sandwich filled with mashed bananas and this butter. Player one. What is peanut butter? Definitely. Uh, they hail from Boston for This Boston native played Mr. Spock. Player one. Who is Leonard Nimoy? Precisely. Pick again. American food for 1200. Answer. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Uh, 3000. A slice of this bread that comes in a dotted bag can be wadded up smaller than a ping pong ball and bounced. Player one. What is Wonder Bread? Hey, you're correct. Welcome, welcome for 800. This disco queen had us all dancing in the 70s with I Love You, I Feel Love, and Love to Love You Baby. Player one. Who is Donna Summer? Exactly. American food for 1600. A pioneering jazz composer with the last name Morton shares his nickname with this rich dessert. Player three. What is a jelly roll? Hey, you're correct. I'll take magazines for 2,000. Answer. The Daily Double. Oh, yeah. Could you make your wager, please? Everything. In the magazine title, YM originally stood for Young Miss. Now it stands Young for Young and, and This. Player three. What is marvelous? Oh, that's no. incorrect. This is Young the Young and modern. Question. Let's try American food for 2,000. In Cincinnati, the five-way type of this dish includes spaghetti, cheese, onions, and beans. Player one. What is chili? Hey, you're correct. Hail from Boston for 1,200. This West Point washout and author of The Raven was born in Boston in 1809. Nobody? This is what we want. Edgar Allan Poe. Boston for 1600. Born in Boston in 1931, she was the first female to co-anchor a regular nightly network newscast. Player one. Who's Barbara Walters? Definitely. Hail from Boston, 2000. A one-time Unitarian pastor, he transcended with works like Nature and the American Scholar. Is that it? Anyone? This is the correct question. For an invention for 800. Today, we'd be bickless without this type of pen invented by Hungary's Ladislao Biro. Player one. What is a ballpoint pen? Yes. Inventions for 1200. The turbojet airplane and the diesel engine were invented in this country. Player two. What is Germany? Precisely. Pick again. Foreign inventions for 1600? Jacques Cousteau helped invent the aqualung in this country in 1943. Player one. What is France? Definitely. And now to finish off the round. The miner safety lamp and the lawnmower were invented by people from this European country. Anybody? Well, but she's backing off and that's going to do her no good. She is done. What we were looking for was this. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores once again.
Player one, you've got the lead going into Final Jeopardy. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. Player three, sorry, you can't continue on with us in Final Jeopardy. It's that time, folks, Final Jeopardy. We'll take a look at the category, then give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Western U.S. cities. Go ahead, make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. $25,000. Good luck. The first 24-hour 7-Eleven opened in 1963 in this 24-hour city. Uh, what is Las Vegas? Let's see how everyone did. Your question, player two. That's not right, not I'm San sorry. San Francisco, okay. And your wager? Your question, player one. That's correct. Yes! What did you wager? Congratulations to our big winner. Dylan is going to get $25,000 from this segment. Hope you all had fun. See you again on Jeopardy. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just get a few details out of the way before we start. And, subs and number 10 is coming up in just a moment. Leave a like, subscribe, visit my store, and visit my podcast links. So long.